you're so good in this movie and you're so funny and it and it's like a boardroom sort of dramedy and you're on the phone a lot and you somehow manage to make it you know laugh out loud hysterical first of all what there's a lot of challenges in that as an actor I mean how did you sort of sort that through with 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 Ben and what what direction did he give you you know when you read the script and you see all those phone calls you're like oh shit Am I going to do all these phone calls? And and usually acting on the phone is such a pain in the neck because you call the other actor, the phone keeps getting you know hanging up or you know breaking up or sometimes a script supervisor will read the lines off camera for you, but it's not the same as the other actor. But Ben's such a smart director that he put us on the phone at the same time. We were right down the hallway from each other, so we could overlap and improvise. So it felt like. Um, it felt like Matt and I were actually really in a scene face to face. Um, and it was a lot of fun. But it was all there in the, the script. It was a beautiful script. Fun to say. I, I really think anyone who played this role would have had a great time doing it. And I was just the lucky one who got it. Well, I disagree. I think that you brought a lot to it that other people wouldn't have, which is amazing. But. Uh, I have to tell you, I was in Simi Valley yesterday with my buddy, and he's like, I want to go, and I want to take my kid, and can I take my kid? And I was like, well, you can, but Chris Messina has a scene where he's <laughs> chewing on some nuts, so maybe that's the one thing that you can't talk about. I don't know if we can talk about that here, but like, we got to talk about that. I mean, how did you keep a straight face when, you're, when you are screaming into the phone about chewing on another man's testicles? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know what came over me in that moment, but uh, we, were, we, we had just... We were having so much fun, and I felt like um, I felt like, and it was in the scene uh, that kind of rage. But I felt like I, you know, what I was watching over and over on loop, and I would never compare myself to him. But I was watching Robert Duvall in um, Network, and he's got some great phone acting, and he unleashes. And I felt like this was an opportunity for the movie, and for me, who I'm often cast as a nice guy. And Ben has been the one in my career who says, you, you should do other things, you can do other things, I see you in other things. So I felt like it was a moment where I had to just lay into him as hard as I could. And it's in the movie, so, yeah. It's great. Uh, and wait, talk, tell me about that, about being cast as a nice guy. I mean, has that been something that you've wanted to break out of? Yeah, you know, you know, in, um, that was, that's, that's my two kids and my wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if you, this is the, their first premiere tonight, so uh, I was. It's a big night for 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 them, for for me. Yeah, you know, if you do something halfway decent in Hollywood, as you probably well know, they just ask you to keep doing it. And as an actor, you you got into this to just put on a bunch of different shoes, so to speak, and so. It, it, it's fun to kind of try to convince people that you could do other things, but it's also difficult. And that's a path that all of us uh, go on. And it's nice when you find someone, like Ben in my case, who goes, I see something different. Um, so here we are tonight. It's fun to be able to share that now with a, with a big audience. Yeah, and tell me what it's like to share with your kids if they've never been to a premiere. Are you a parent who like doesn't want them to watch your stuff or, or, or have they engaged with a lot of your work? Um, I always kind of try to keep them away from this nonsense. Um, and they don't really care about my acting or my work in a great way. But uh, I just thought that they're basketball fans, and I thought this would be, you know, we haven't been to the theater in a long time. And even to be here in Westwood, on the, this is incredible. Um, so I thought it'd be an exciting night for them. Yeah. It's got a, I, I'm just excited for anyone who's here because having seen the movie, it's a crowd pleaser. Yeah. And coming here, it's like, there's a basketball court down there. You don't ever know, get that. Incredible. It's incredible. So then, then the last question I'll ask you, then what is it about your relationship with Ben do you think works so well? And what can you say about him as a director? You know, I think that we... Uh, and Matt, and maybe all of us, I think we sometimes connect on a level that of uh, beyond all this stuff, a bunch of, uh, I'm from Long Island, they're obviously from Boston, East Coast kids who just wanted to do this acting thing, just wanted to tell stories. And I think we s relate, relate to each other in that way. As a director, he's, he trusts the people he hires behind the camera in front of the camera and he lets them go and as an actor that's the that's the biggest gift you can be I think every actor comes with a gift and it's the director's job to let that gift out and that's exactly what he does